welcome to part three of the Power Hour. Now, earlier this week, we had Mike Muir, the singer of Suicidal Tendencies, in the studio. I asked him about their very controversial video, Trip at the Brain, which has caused us here a lot of trouble putting it on the show. I asked him about a lot of other things, too. This is what he had to say. Yeah, uh, just some friends got together and uh, played instruments, and we just started playing and uh, started practicing in the kitchen at the house I used to live in, and uh, just kind of went from there. Tell me about the bandanas and the hats, because that's not something that he, over here in Europe we know too much about. Uh, basically, we, we come from like Venice, California, and it's just kind of a style of dress that you know people dress it like that. And uh, so it's uh, something we've had. And when we were younger, we all had long hair and stuff, and kind of keeps the hair out of your eyes and kind of has some more meaning and stuff like that. But just the way we've always dressed, and I mean, it, it's weird because a lot of times people, when we first started off, you know, people said, yeah, you know, you guys are good, but you'll never do anything looking like that. And I was like, looking like what, you know? And it's like, the way you look, you know? And I goes, you know, we were born ugly, we can't help that. But, you know, it's like one of those things when we started off, and the way I always liked music when I was younger, I'd listen to a band and I'd hear a record or something or a song, I'd go, well, that's cool. I never said, oh, wait, look at this picture of this band. I never heard of them. I'll buy their record because they look like that. You know, it's all about the music, and you like the music or you don't, you don't like the way we look, well, that's your problem. I was in my room, and I was just like staring at the wall, thinking about everything, and then, yeah, I was thinking about nothing. And then my mom came in, and I didn't even know she was there. She called my name, and I didn't hear her, and then she started screaming, Mike, Mike! And I go, what? What's the matter? She goes, what's the matter with you? I go, there's nothing wrong, Mom. She goes, don't tell me that. You're on drugs. I go, no, Mom, I'm not on drugs. I'm okay. I'm just thinking, you know? Why don't you give me a Pepsi? She goes, no, you're on drugs. I go, Mom, I'm okay. I'm just thinking. She goes, no, you're not thinking. You're on drugs. No, no, people don't act that way. I go, Mom, just give me a Pepsi, please. All I want is a Pepsi. And she wouldn't give it to me. All I wanted was a Pepsi. Just one Pepsi. And she wouldn't give it to me. Just a Pepsi. Give me my shirt with my sleeves. I'm going to be back to see a sleeve. Just me up. Just crazy. It's the good thing. I'm crazy. I'm not crazy. Here's the good job. You're the one that's crazy. Here's the good job. You've got to be crazy. Here's the good job. I take it in. And it's true. Because that was the only truth. We're into music, you know, and we want people to hear it and say, well, that's good, you know. And there's something wrong when someone says, oh, I don't like suicidal, or it's the way you look like this, or I don't, I don't, you know, those hats I don't like. And, you know, and, and then when they hear the music and stuff, they go, whoa, that's cool, who's that? And they go, that's suicidal. And, you know, there's something wrong. You know? See, Clark's a innocent boy. He was an all-American boy. Got a skate at eight years old. Now the story can be told. Big word, he's possessed to skate. He takes a muffin high. He's a pilot on a modern fly. Seeing him flying through the air. If he don't land, well, he don't care, cause he rips. When he skates, he skates, he never hesitates. He's a wizard on the wheels. He's a modern gladiator, ain't got no fear, so skate. How would you describe the music? I describe it as basically as what the five of us like and what we think is good and it's just what we enjoy you know it's got a lot of energy and there's a lot of you know I think there's a lot of a lot to it and uh, especially if you compare it to like Whitney Houston or things like that you know and I think that's one of the things in the states where we've been successful is that when we've been exposed and play you know places where we've, we've seen the videos or radio stations we've been played you know you go from Boy George or Culture Club or something like that to the Rolling Stones or this and that and you can do whatever you do when you're doing you vacuum you keep going when suicidal comes on you stop and you think and it's not necessarily you know in the sense of like what the hell is that if i can say that but it's like whoa it's different and that's where you know when we talk to the people at hearse they go you know the first time i heard you i was like sitting there and i said whoa what is that you know and that's the same thing with the videos i think a lot of times when when we do a video it's supposed to be you know video is supposed to be visual and i think a lot of times people get away from that they say okay well, we got this record here's the single we got to do a video for it so it's more exposure so we can sell more records and with us we try to do something where when it comes on people are going to sit there and go wait a second, what happened? And the other person is going to say, I don't know, I've only seen it ten times. And every time you see it, you should see something else out of it, you know? And that's our whole point.
Well, Trip at the Brain, I mean, that video I find very offensive. Was it supposed to be offensive? It's one of those things sometimes, I guess, uh, maybe if we get offended, we need to be offended a little bit, you know? And, uh, you know, there's a lot of ways to do a lot of things, and, and we have our way of doing it. And I don't think there's anything that, you know, we didn't sit there and try to offend people with it. But, you know, we have a point to get across, and, and maybe, you know, the way that we t intend to get it across, it won't come across to, you know, to the, everybody the right way, but it will come across the right way to, you know, a lot of people, and that's the important thing. You know, and if I'm, I'm worried about offending people, then I would stay in my room, you know, every day, because I walk down the street, and I'm going to offend people just the way I look. And, you know, I'm sorry, you know, that's the way I look, and, and, and I'm not going to change it, you know. As long as I don't do anything deliberately to mess with their rights or anything, then it's all right, you know, because because that's the way it is. People are going to get offended by a lot of things. I get offended by things too, but that's all right. Well, everyone, get on your bandanas, don't you think? 